What's up, Calc gang? Welcome back to some dynamics. So let's solve this problem, right? We're given a rocket that travels along this parabolic path, and then after it reaches 40 meters, it, or it follows that path after it reaches 40 meters. And we're given that its velocity in the y direction is always 180 meters a second. It's constant. Our goal is to find the acceleration and velocity at an altitude of 80 meters. So let's solve for this, right? So uh, when we're finding uh, magnitude of velocity and magnitude of acceleration, we want to just have a velocity is equal to the square root of velocity in the x plus velocity in the y squared, right? So we have velocity in the y squared, but we need velocity in the x. So our goal is to find for velocity in the x and acceleration in the x. So let's go ahead and solve for those. So how are we going to do that, right? Well, we're going to take some derivatives. So first of all, let's start off with our equation. Y minus 40 squared is equal to 160x. Uh, this is in there, yeah. So what happens if we take a time derivative of this, right? Well, then we'll have y dot and x dot. We're solving for x dot because x dot is velocity x. But we have y dot. y dot is 180. So let's take the time derivative of both sides of this equation. So we're taking the whole derivative of this, so that 2 is going to come out front. So it's going to be 2y minus 40. And then we're going to attach that y dot because of the chain rule, right? We have to take the derivative of the inside. So we're going to get that. Then this side is just going to become 160, and then that x is going to become an x dot. So uh, how about we rearrange this equation? We're solving for x dot, aren't we? So how about we, let's divide by 2 first of all, so we can get rid of that. So then we're going to have y minus 40 y dot over 80 is equal to x dot. And so this is how we find x dot. So let's plug in everything we know. We're trying to find out what happens at y is equal to 80 meters. So this y is going to become 80. So it's going to become 80 minus 40. y dot is a constant, 180. And then this 80 is a constant. And that's equal to x dot. And if you do the math on this, you get x dot is equal to 90 meters per second. So then, of course, let's go back up here. If we want to find velocity, we're just going to take the square root of x dot, which is 90, plus y dot, which is 180. And there you get that velocity is equal to 201 meters a second. And that's your answer. So let's find acceleration now. So how about, how are we going to do this, right? How about we distribute? So let's, let's take this equation. We're going to start here, not here, because this is going to be a little harder to take the derivative of, I think. So let's expand out everything. So first of all, let's get rid of that 2. Just divide by 2 on both sides. So we're going to get y times y dot minus 40 y dot is equal to 80 x dot. OK, so we're here. So let's take the derivative again. So now this is going to be a little bit longer because we have this chain rule here, or the product rule, I mean. So to start with this product rule, this is going to become y dot squared plus y, y double dot. And this is going to become minus 40 y double dot. And this is going to become 80 x double dot. But we'll check my steps on that. OK, so we're here now. Um, did I miss something? I hope not. No, we're good, we're good. So we're here. Let's cancel out the things that don't belong. So how about this? We're saying we're traveling at a constant velocity in the y direction. So that means there's no acceleration in the y direction. Y double dot is the acceleration in the y direction. So that means that this is going to be equal to 0, and this is equal to 0. So this is going to simplify our equation to y dot squared is equal to 80 x double dot. So now we know what these numbers are. So 180 squared, 180 squared is y, double, or y single dot is equal to 80 x double dot. So of course you just divide by 80 and you get that x double dot is equal to 405 meters a second. So now if you want to find the magnitude of acceleration, we're going to do the same thing. So it's going to be 405 squared plus, but remember we said there's no acceleration in the y direction. So this is just going to become 0 squared and we're going to find the acceleration is 405 meters a second squared. And there you go. So there are your two answers. Right, not too tricky of a question. It's just about knowing the equations and knowing how to take some time derivatives. So if you have any questions, ask in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.